Hello everyone. I'm Serenity. Ever since I made my Pokemon card collection video about mm, a year and a half ago, I've received many messages and emails asking about how I store my cards, about the different products I use, and just general information and advice about how to start collecting. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you in detail everything I use, and some tips and tricks I've learned from other YouTubers, as well as from my own experience. I will be mostly focusing on products for card collecting, however, some of these products um, can easily be used for other kinds of collections as well. Um, the main topics that I'm going to talk about today are um, different types of card sleeves for your cards, um, pocket pages to put your cards in, and binders to put it all together. Um, there are a lot of different products and brands out there, and sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming if you're new into collecting or just learning how to keep your cards in good condition. Um, most of the products you will see from me today are from the brand Ultra Pro. I'm not associated with them or anything, but I find that they have been the most reliable for protecting my collections and affordable when I'm buying in bulk. I will leave links in the description uh, for the things that I use if you are interested in using them for your own collections. So, the first thing I would like to talk about is where I get my cards. When I'm not buying them in stores or in card shops, I use a couple of websites when I'm looking for those older Pokemon cards. One of them is called Troll and Toad, and the other is called Collector's Cash. You do have to be careful when buying online that you don't get fakes, but generally those are the ones I use. Um, another tip that I've learned is that if you're really serious about collecting and plan on completing sets, then buy your supplies in bulk. Depending on what you're buying, it can be more affordable compared to only buying a little at a time. So, now that that is out of the way, <laughs> about the supplies. After getting your cards, the first thing that I think is the most important way to keep them in good condition is by using card sleeves. I use two types of card sleeves. These are called deck protector sleeves. Um, 
And these other ones are called top loaders. I'm going to go over these a little later in the video, so let's put these aside. And let's talk about these ones. Deck protector sleeves are a little different compared to others. They are slightly thicker and more durable feeling. Uh, because they're actually made for cards that are being used in card competitions and playing competitions so that they don't get damaged while they're being played or while they're being stored in their deck boxes. I've also noticed that they are cut in kind of a smaller size and have a more precise and consistent fit compared to like penny sleeves or when you're putting them into uh, pages. So, um, this specific one is the uh, 66 millimeter uh, by 91 millimeter, the standard size for uh, gaming carts. So, these are the kind of sleeves that I use. Now, on to uh, the pocket pages. There are a lot of different pages that you can get. I also use two types of nine pocket pages. These ones are just your standard nine pocket pages. This one comes uh, with 65 pages. And this one is the Ultra Pro Premium Series a black side loading 18 pocket pages. As you can see, These ones are clear and have just a total of nine pockets for cards. I'll show you an example of what these ones are like in the binders. So, these ones are top loading, um, pretty much just your standard type of pocket pages. There's plenty of space in them, and I don't have any problem putting multiple cards in the pockets. These ones are just a lot of my uh, random, more newer sets, um, a little bit from the X and Y series and things. And 
Now I'm going to show you the black ones. These are a little different because rather than loading from the top, they load from the side. They can load on the front and back and have a sheet of black plastic in between the pages. Let me show you an example of those ones. I really like the look of these ones a lot more because the black really shows off the color of the cards. It makes it really stand out. Uh, for a long time, I kept all of my cards in these kinds of pages, but eventually I noticed that it started warping some of my older holographic cards, but not the others. So I still keep my non-hollow cards in these kind of black pages, but I do a completely different setup for my non- uh, for my holographic cards. So, let me show you what I do for my hollow cards. Hmm. Put this all the way. holographics. Especially for my older ones. I have this binder. So here's what I do. You can see that. So, I put the cards in a regular deck protector sleeve and then I also put it in a top loader usually these ones they are the 3x4 top loaders It might seem like overkill to some of you putting them in multiple plastics like this because these cards 
Um, these type of sleeves are a little bit different compared to the deck protectors. They're a lot more rigid. You can see, a lot harder of a, of a plastic. A lot more hard to bend and to ruin. Um, but I've noticed that um, the cards that were warping, it was really able to uh, help them straighten out and return back to its normal shape. There's different kinds of thickness and sizes that you can get. Um, but I just use the uh, standard 3x4. And then after I put them in the top loader, then I use this. They are the Scotch Restickable Tabs. These ones are for mounting. You can see, it's a little hard to see, but these come in different squares. I will usually get one of those squares and cut it up into four pieces. And then, I will stick it on the back of the top loader. Can you see that? And then once I've done that, I will put the card onto a blank cardstock type page. Nothing fancy, just a pretty cheap piece of paper. And then I stick the sticky side onto the card, or I'm sorry, onto the page. And I press it to make sure that it sticks to the page. Like that. And you've made kind of like a makeshift uh, place for all of your top-loaded cards. Once I've filled up a page, I will Then put it inside. And I will put it inside of a, a clear sheet protector. Like that. And then you've made your own pocket page in a way. And that's pretty much how I protect a lot more of my valuable cards like this you've seen my sleeves and with the different type of pages that I have put together. Uh, you need something to put them all in. What I use is usually just a cheap one inch three ring binder. I prefer to get black ones with clear plastic on the outside and on the inside right here 
but any kind of binder will do, honestly. You can also get specialty type binders. Like this one. This one is one of the Pokemon Generations binders. I have two of these. This is one of them. I find that the deck protector sleeves fit really nicely with these type of pocket pages that come built into the binder. However, I've noticed that penny sleeves don't fit very well in these. So those are the kind of binders I use, mostly the cheaper one inch ones. I also wanted to show you my current setup for where I store my card collections. Here I'm mainly showing you my Pokemon cards. I, I love having a dedicated place for all of my cards and binders and small collectibles. I also keep most of my supplies organized on a shelf like this. And that is pretty much everything when it comes to how I protect and store my cards. All of this isn't perfect by any means, but I find that it works for me. I hope you found this video helpful for those of you trying to collect more and take care of your cards. And even if you're not a collector, I Still hope you found this video relaxing. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. But I will see you next time. Bye everyone.